The good news about Jesus was spreading. Paul and his friends, Silas and Timothy, traveled together and shared the gospel wherever God led them. At the city of Philippi, they went to the river to pray. Some women were there, and Paul started talking to them. A woman named Lydia, who sold purple cloth, was listening. Lydia was a worshiper of the one true God, and God helped her believe what Paul was saying. Lydia and everyone in her house was baptized. Another day, a servant girl met Paul and Silas. She had a spirit in her that allowed her to predict the future. The girl followed Paul and Silas, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God! Paul finally turned and said to the spirit in her, I command you in the name of Jesus to come out of her. And the spirit came out right away. Now the girl's owners were upset because she could no longer tell the future and make money for them. They grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them to the authorities. The officials put Paul and Silas in jail. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing songs to God. Suddenly, an earthquake shook the jail. The doors flew open and all the prisoners' chains came loose. The jailer woke up and thought the prisoners had escaped, so he took out his sword and was about to kill himself. Don't hurt yourself, Paul said. We are all here. The jailer took Paul and Silas outside. Men, what must I do to be saved? He asked. They said, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. The jailer and everyone in his household believed and was baptized. Later that day, Paul and Silas were set free. Paul and Silas went to Thessalonica and told people about Jesus. Some of the people believed, but others were upset. Then Paul and Silas went to Berea. They were welcomed there until the people from Thessalonica came and caused trouble for them. Paul went to Athens and told the people about the one true God. Paul said that God wants everyone in the world to turn away from their sin and to turn to Him. When the people heard about Jesus being raised from the dead, some of them laughed. However, some people believed in Jesus. Then Paul went to Corinth. He met a husband and wife named Aquila and Priscilla. They were tent makers, like Paul, so they worked together. Lydia, the jailer, and many others heard the gospel and were saved. They were willing to listen and believe in Jesus. Paul and the other apostles preached the same message to all people. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved.